Well, what do you know? Looks like we are live here on the channel. American English Guy 2. Um, I was just doing a little cleaning in my room here downstairs. And I thought, you know what? I am on vacation. Maybe I should go live and chat with whoever shows up. Now, this channel is a little smaller than my other channel. And I gave absolutely no notice of me going live or maybe like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then we're live. So we'll see if anybody shows up, that will be great. If not, you will just hear me ramble in slow English. So I hope that will help with your English comprehension. Oh, looks like one person is here. Two people. Anya, how are you? Welcome. Emmanuel, how are you? From Brazil. I received a video from Emmanuel this week. I will put that somewhere. I'm going to put that somewhere. Although I might not have your audio because you are just so nice to me, but I will try to put... Emmanuel's a good English speaker in Brazil. And look at this. My friend Luke. Luke from Poland is here. Luke and I have been chatting a little bit this week. So, and if you are a channel member, there are a couple channel members. Check the Discord if you want to come on camera. We can have a discussion. And I know Anya and Luke are both very good English speakers. So they might want to, but it can be a little weird to be on camera if you didn't know you were going to be on camera. You know, did I take a shower? Did I put on my makeup? If you put on makeup. Hey, Cecilia's here from Argentina. So the idea of this live lesson is for you to ask questions. And since I have been teaching English in the United States for about 20 years, I can probably answer some of those questions. But wait a second. It does look like we have a guest. It does look like Anya is waiting to come on. I have a little music. Maybe I will turn that music off just so it's not distracting. Okay. No music. It says my internet is eh, not doing so well. But let's uh let's get Anya on here. See if she would like to chat at all. How do I get rid of my comments here? Let's see. Okay. So Anya, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I think that was a yes. All right, so let's go. Let's go. So I will let Anya introduce herself. That's usually a pretty easy thing to do in English, but I've spoken to Anya a few times. She will have no problem. Her English is very good. All right, Anya, I'm going to bring you on, okay? Let's do it. Anya, what is going on? Hopefully I can hear you. Yeah, I hope so. Hi, friend. Hi, hey, Fog. So great to see you. Yeah, I, I thought I can join you. I, I haven't joined you for a long time. That would be amazing. Yeah. So how has your Friday been, Anya? It was great. I had uh, I could take a uh, day off today, so I had a lot of time. Uh, my mother has birthday today. And I got, got friends from Cologne today here. So I was with friends out on the playground. My godchild became eight. So I played with her football, soccer, <laughs> American soccer, <Yeah. laughs> not football. <laughs> no. I think we know what you mean. If you're in Germany and you're playing football, it's probably not the American football, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, but... I think um, my friends, um, the mother of my godchild and the mother of the other ki uh, child, uh, also played uh, roller derby like me. So our soccer between us three became something like football. Really? <laughs> I didn't. So you do roller derby? Yeah, I, I played roller derby for three years. So for anyone who doesn't know what roller derby is, do you mind explaining what that is in English? Yeah, it's a full contact sport on um, quad skates. 
and it comes from um, US. It was played first time, I think, 1940, and it stopped around 1970. Really? Um, it was played by a um, woman because the man was in war. They're in war, so the woman, sta uh, woman starts um, back then uh, this sport. And it's great. And um, around 2000, some girls in US thought about to start it again. And we had here our first teams, I think, 13 years ago in Germany. And it's a great sport. And you have to do something with your mind. But it's also full contact. And it's great. I'm trying to pull up a picture here just in case. <laughs> People are watching and they're like, what? Roller derby? I think I can share this because so, okay. I have a question. Did you ever get hurt? Yes. Playing? Yeah. <laughs> what, was your, <laughs> what was your worst injury? Um, how to explain in, in your knees, you have something, the bands in your knees. Yeah. We would call them knee pads. Yeah. I cut one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> So you, you got cut on your, there's a picture right now of what yeah. roller derby looks like. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and I will write knee pads just in case yeah. there. So it's probably, it's probably really nice um, to play and you have to learn a lot because um, the rules are more than 19 pages you have to learn. Oh, wow. And you um, you can't play bef uh, before you have the full control of your roles. So you can hit each other, but there are a lot of rules. Yes. Okay. You, you would, um, it's forbidden to hit with your hands, to, ha um, to hit with your elbows. You can do it with your whole body. And you can do all what you want with your own teammates. So... Um, Actually, if um, if you played in our team, we allowed each other to um, get our teammate and uh, push it for the um, opponent. <laughs> That's awesome. So you can you can grab your teammate and yeah. push her forward. That's awesome. And you don't play that anymore, though. No. No. I had played it um, until two thousand fifteen. And, um, but I was on my rolls, I think three months ago and oh, it was a good. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, we call those, uh, things roller skates, Yeah, roller skates. So I can imagine that you have to be pretty coordinated. Yeah, to, you have to be on and your roller skates. I'm, I, I have um, to look. I think I have my derby skates here somewhere because we have special derby skates. And, oh, yeah, that's not right. I have a lot here. <laughs> but all awesome. with so much stuff. Um, yeah, I have here some. Not my actually roller derby skates, but I had it for my daughter. I can show... Because they are a bit different. Oh, they are. Derby so skates not... are like that. Oh, okay. Wow. And what's that on the front? Is that does that help you stop? Yes, you um, you have to run on it. Oh. Yeah. If, if you need speed, you run on the your tiptoes to get more speed. And if you um, you have in this game, you have five women in each team. Oh, and okay. four are uh, four have the task to stop um, the jammer of the other team. So you oh. ha have a new, each team wants the jammer, and the jammer have to go very fast in rounds. So there are and five. Time, yeah, there are five ladies on yes. the track at the same time. Yeah, and sometimes I will see when a lady comes on, she yeah. will start maybe like running or skating and then they'll it's go. It's a jammer. It's a, it's jammer. a jammer. You a can't, you can see it um, because they have a star on um, the helm. Okay. And there's only one jammer in each team. Yes. Is it J A M M E R maybe? Right. Jammer? Okay. A jammer. That's yeah. awesome. And the jammer have the test to um, pass the blogger. 
bloggers are the are for one, um, they have to stop the jammer. So maybe plugger like P L U G G E R like a plugger. Yeah, it's like... B B L U C G. Plug. Okay. I think it's different in in English. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe we won't. Maybe we won't spell that one then. So yeah, and um, and the jammer have to pass the other, and each time if they pass, get they get um a point. Okay. And it's only the jammer that can score the point? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The other have to try all to destroy the jammer or to stop the jammer all. <laughs> That's awesome. So in English, we might say you can get your frustration out when you're when you're doing roller derby. Yeah. yeah. If, well, if you have it's so strange. You have a lot of people, um, they are teacher pedagogues, uh, work in kindergarten or social workers there and nurse. <laughs> so if you have a difficult patient, you know, if, if you're a nurse, you, you can't strangle them at work, <laughs> but then you can go to the roller derby and fling your teammate or you, you can't elbow anybody though, right? We no. can use, we can use that as a verb. You are, so this, you are out. Okay. So you can't elbow anyone, but you, you can, can go with your shoulder. You can okay. lean with your shoulder. Okay. <laughs> and we can use those as verbs. You can elbow somebody. You can shoulder somebody. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And so I've been on vacation this week also. I don't know. I would still be working right now, but I had a, a week-long vacation. We call it April vacation. So... I was cleaning up my room and I thought, you know what, let's go live and maybe talk to some people. So that know, was that's... nice. Yeah. And so what time is it in Germany now? Um, It's right now. It's close to 8 p.m. Okay. I think we have six hours of different. Yeah, that, that makes sense. For me, it's 152. Yeah. So six hours. And I've actually been to Cologne. You said you had friends who came in from Cologne. Cologne. Yeah, mm -hmm. the town you was. That's. I think that's the. I've been in Hamburg, Hamburg. Yeah, Hamburg. Cologne. Those are the only two. I got lost in the 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 best. I love both cities. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am often in Hamburg, maybe once a year, and um, I am. I was maybe twelve times in Cologne. It's both more than three hundred kilometer from here, but I love both cities. And I think I told you the story about when I went through Germany. Just for anyone watching, if they don't know, I will tell it quickly. Um, I was supposed to switch trains in Hamburg. And I did. But I got off on the wrong stop. So I was delayed a few hours. And I'm so old that this was back when Germany was using the mark. Right, the mark, I think it was. Yeah, I think more than 20 years ago. Yeah, I was there in 1995. So yeah. I had to, to eat dinner. I had to change to marks. And then I got off in Cologne and they were having some party where people's faces were painted, I think. And Carnival. It, yeah, I think it Carnival was. Carnival in Cologne. <laughs> So I was there in either March or February. Is that February. When... <laughs> I was shocked. I didn't expect <laughs> that. And I just remember this big church when I yeah. got off. It's a Gothic church, I think we would call it yeah. in English. Beautiful church. A lot of um, spy spires, spire, mm -hmm. like tall little, it was a beautiful church, but it was pretty crazy i was going to denmark <laughs> so i didn't spend long in germany i think um the carnival in cologne is something special it's each year and for many people in germany it would be too crazy but i would like to join at one time i think it's similar to our mardi gras yeah. in new orleans which is crazy. I have. I I've, would love to go there. I've been to New Orleans 
two weeks before Mardi Gras and there were still parades. There were still, you know, there yeah. was a lot of, a lot of like parties, but I think Mardi Gras would be too crazy for me. Like there's a, there's a city in Alabama, the next state over yeah, in Mobile. They actually had the first Mardi Gras and it's, it's a little calmer. It's more for families. So I might do that one day, Mobile, but I think I'm too old for New Orleans. I heard you was out with um, Jamie the last weekend, I think. Yeah, well, let's see. Um, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday night, yep. we went to Portland. That's the big city in our town. And uh, yeah, we usually uh, spend the night down there so we don't have to worry about driving home just in case we have a, a few <laughs> drinks, but uh, there's amazing food down there. Um, great beer. If you like beer. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a blast down there and it's right on the ocean. So we had a really good relaxing time. That's great. Our two kids are old enough that they can stay home by themselves. So yeah, it was just a, um, We might say in English, a good way to recharge, recharge. So if you are, uh, you could probably do it during roller, doing roller derby too, but recharge. It's just like, like for your smartphone. Exactly. Exactly. I'm having trouble. But it looks different to use. I know. Yes. <laughs> I don't have any plugs here, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Some people do that. Like just you know, to go away for a night, recharge. Yeah. Um, and I bet, you know, playing with your godson, that would, it's a good way to recharge, you know, forget about work for a little while. Hey, Yulia's here. What's going on? Oh, I forgot. Brazil yeah. is in the house. They are, I think they are the kings and queens of Carnival. Yeah, definitely. Right? <laughs> yeah. Our, our stuff is pretty small compared to them. Oh, I man. think Cologne is special. I think you can, um, it's um, close to it, is but it really? a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, because I was there during the day. Yeah. Uh, in the afternoon, <laughs> and it was crazy. You won't be there at night. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it looked fun, but I was I was just too scared. I was like, let's let's get out of here. My train was leaving. I I had no idea what was going on. I but should I, have known. But I think Carnival in Rio was postponed to this month. I think you're right. Emmanuel, Emmanuel might be able to tell it. Wait, oh look at this. It started yesterday. Yeah. Oh, and goes until Sunday. It was postponed because of um, Corona, I think. That makes sense. Yeah, most everything is back to normal here. Yeah. Just uh, yesterday or the day before, the president, no. It's, it's very confusing, but a judge said that you didn't have to wear masks. Yeah, I, I read it. Did you? On CNN, I think two or three days ago, and... Um, I think two days ago, um, it was um, a big article from Anthony Fauci about um, how important it is. And yeah. Yeah. You know, Anthony Fauci? Yeah, definitely. Nice. <laughs> I, I read a lot of, um, of the articles from him and it's something um, like Christian Drosten here in Germany. And so Interesting. I follow both. So we had um, Easter this past weekend. Maybe you did too. Yeah, we had. And my buddy came over, uh, a guy I graduated high school with, and he was feeling fine. And mm. my brother, my brother was feeling sick. So the family asked, hey, do you mind if we still come over? My brother stayed home. I was like, yeah, fine. Because Jamie and I, my wife, Jamie and I, we just had covid two months ago or yep. six weeks ago. And so they came over and my friend, he tested positive the next day. Mm. He wasn't feeling great, but so he stayed home, but he said it was just, you know, like a cold. He, it wasn't too bad for him. 
and my my brother was actually sicker. Yeah. He he felt awful. So it's kind of weird. But it's um we have here many cases right now. I think um it became better. We are just by five hundred eighty in my town um, per hundred thousand. Um, we was three three weeks ago. We was um, on the second place of the world with oh, wow. cases in Germany. Yeah, and last week we was on the seventh, and US on the twelfth. Is that, is that bad? Again, <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I I I read about yeah. um, and I think I um, it's not so that I think it's a big problem for me, but I try to um, keep informed. Keep yeah. informed, that's right. Um, and uh, we could say informed. informed. Yeah, keep to informed. stay informed okay. or keep informed. Yeah. Yeah. So luckily for us, there are a lot of people getting sick, but they're not going to the hospital for the yeah. for the most part, which is good. It become better. Yeah. We um, can, I can get my booster shot in about a month because you have to wait You're three months. Forced? What's that? Your fourth or your third? Um, I didn't get the the booster when it came out. So yep. it would be okay. my first booster. Okay. My mom got her first booster. So she's 76. But in my my children, none of us got a booster because actually my daughter did. But we we had gotten we had gotten COVID right after kind of when the boosters came out. So we're like, eh, yeah, they said, don't get a booster for 90 days after. Yeah. So I'll probably wait until fall when people start getting sick again. So maybe, maybe end of summer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right before I have to go back to school, I'll probably yeah. get the, the shot. I got my zero um, in November. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. My daughter got her booster in january and she never got too. <laughs> Not, nice let's see emmanuel says if you get to come to rio during carnival you won't forget millions of people on the street we have a place we call something in portuguese where people wearing costumes and dancing all around samba tromo no samba? yeah it sounds like I it I'm a yeah, it, it, I, it's a bit dif um, difficult because I started to learn Portuguese two and a half months ago. Really? But yeah, I thought it's maybe a nice rest between learning English. Um, I'm still trying to practice English for three to eight hours each day. Wow. And um, so I thought rest with Portuguese could be nice. <laughs> um, but to switch between English and Portuguese so fast, it's very hard. Yeah. It, that seems like it might be no. I was gonna say it's almost like a dance, the samba, uh, dromo. Yeah, it sounds Maybe. interesting to me. Portuguese. I, yeah, I, I I think it's a place where people are um, wearing uh, other clothes, masquerade like you had in Cologne, <laughs> and dancing that, and have fun. That sounds good to me. <laughs> I can't dance though. <laughs> Me can either. You? No, no. <laughs> I can't pogo. Oh, can you? <laughs> yeah, I can pogo. <laughs> well, you you were roller derbyer, so you can do. I, I was always walk. at each punk concert um, in the front. Oh, really? And I I visit my first punk concert. I was sixteen. So oh, wow. And my last two years ago with um, Offspring. And some awesome. forty one also from years and What's anti black. That? What was that about the U.S.? I I I, I listened to many punk bands from U.S. like oh. Sum Forty One and um, Real McKenzie's Offspring, Green Day back then, but it's too calm. <laughs> Anti oh, really? is one of my yeah. It's too calm. Yeah, it's it's nice, <laughs> but but I also go in opera. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh. Well, my drums are back now. You can't see them. My drums yeah, are back there. And uh, in high school, we used to play Green Day. We played uh, Basket Case, the band I was in. And we played a lot of Offspring. Because Offspring is the drums, not too bad. <laughs> like, I can play, um, like, keep them separated. And 
Yeah. What was the other one? But um, Green Day, the drummer there, his name's Trey Cool. Do you know Trey Cool? Have no. you heard of him? No. And and some forty one, uh, Travis Barker is the drummer there. They're both very good. Okay. Trey Cool. Trey Cool is hard to play. He's so fast. But I saw Green Day in concert back in nineteen ninety six. I think. I like Green Day. I envy you. I never saw Green Day. I saw different times, Anti Flag and Sum 41 and um, Rise Against and other bands, but I never saw Green Day and I missed Linkin Park. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I, I really never... ha I would love to, uh, but yeah, Chester Benning is gone. Oh, is he? Chester Bennington. Uh oh. Yeah. He died. Yeah, five Must years be. ago. Oh wow. I think I kind of remember that. Do you know the band um Soundgarden? Yeah. So they lost their lead singer, Chris mm -hmm. Cornell. It was about the same time, right? I think at the same time. And I um do you I think you posted with Foo Fighters. Did I? I, like I don't know. One of the band of Foo Fighters died two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that was too bad. Yeah. Um, was it Taylor Hawkins? Yeah. The drummer. Right. Yeah. He actually died in South America. I think he was in Colombia when he died. Okay. They were doing a show down there. And I guess he had a lot of uh, different things in his system that he was... Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> That's too bad. He's like he's like fifty, so yeah. so young. From our, our point, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. um, we can't change the topic. You don't like talking about death. Oh, I think maybe <laughs> for some people it's not the best topic. I have not yeah. so much problems with it, but. <laughs> Yeah, dead musicians. Yeah, we can definitely change the topic. That's for sure. So um, I guess we were right. Yeah. Samba so, looks so good if you can do it. Did I, I don't think I've told you, but um, Jamie, my wife, um, she had a full scholarship for dance for Great. college. Yeah. So, but she didn't, she didn't pursue dancing. She pursued teaching instead because... She didn't think it, you know, it's hard to get a job dancing. Okay. You, you would need to probably do a lot of business for your, uh, you know, because you would have to open a dance studio. So she taught instead, but she was a very good dancer. Wait, Amina's here. Hey, Amina's here. And Cecilia, oh. Amina, hi. Mm -hmm. So nice. I missed you last weekend. KGR. Must be new to the channel. I don't know, but. Welcome. What would you like to talk about, Anya? Um, I don't know. Maybe we can talk about Wordle. Mm, mm. We it's, sure can. Yeah, it's so great. I saw it in your um, Facebook. And although I started, I think, one month ago, one and a half months ago. And <laughs> I guess two days ago, one of your friends mentioned Quaddle. Yes. Quaddle. That's too hard for me. That's for sure. I crashed this today. I made it. I made Did all you? four. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Just for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, let me try to share this page. Um, it's on New, New York Times. Exactly. So, yeah. That's impressive. So the New York Times is a big newspaper in the United States. And Wordle is, you you play this on your phone probably. I know I do. Yeah, I do. And every day, the New York Times, the newspaper, will put a five-letter word out. Like one, only one every 24 hours. And so at midnight, you can start playing it and you have six guesses. Um, let me see. I think I remember. I always start with uh, Anya. What word do you start with? Oh, the, I start sometimes with trade or a dream or a fancy. <laughs> okay, let's start with, I, I usually start with steam. 
His team is also good. And I think they've I, – I might need to switch my word because they don't give me a lot of letters. But, like, in English, S-T-E-A-M are very common. Yeah. So – and I think – I forgot the word for today, but they – they will let you know if it's like this color, which is like a gold, a kind a yellow, like the word has these two letters, but they're not in the right spot. I usually go like to train next train just to get a. And so when it turns green, that lets you know the a whatever word you're trying to guess the five letter word, the a you've got it right. The A is right here. So you sometimes do fancy. Yeah. So that when I hit this, the A, it will turn like yellow because it's not in the right spot. But uh, it's a, I think it's a fun way to try to learn English. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can, if anybody wants to check it out on NewYorkTimes.com or something like that. So yeah, last night. I couldn't sleep for some reason. You know, when you're on vacation, my mm-hmm. sleep my sleep patterns all mixed up. So at midnight, I couldn't sleep. So I was like, let me try the wordle. And I got it I got it in 3 today. Me too. I, wow. I thought I thought on Facebook you made it in 3 and I made it to today um the 3 and like I'm uh, said I made quarter today the first time all four in I once thought. and that's great. <laughs> Yeah, and English isn't your first language. So yeah. that's amazing. All right, we have a question. Oh, no, I don't know what unvoiced and voiced is. Let's see. I have a question. Oh, is make the... Elsa. What's that? Um, you, you, um, you made, um, you made um, ad- um, advertising for Elsa for the speaking app. Oh, yes. And yes. you have videos, and um, they talk about voiced and unvoiced um, letter. So yeah. the sound of um, different sa- things are voiced. If it's something voiced, you can feel it here. Okay. And some letter you can say, and you have no feeling here. It's not not vibrating. I think the S sound S yeah S is just in the mouth, so it's unvoiced, and the other is here, so it's voiced. So Anya. <laughs> So that's the advantage. I know Cecilia (laughs) is an English teacher, non-native English teacher. That's the advantage of non-native English teachers is because they know some of the hard things about English, like voiced and unvoiced. So hopefully that helped. But my TH is really, really bad. So yeah, it is. (laughs) And maybe you can tell... um, K G R, if yeah. it's voice or unvoice, when you make T H, do you feel it here? It depends. Um, I guess if you, I mean, the most common mm. word in English is the, yeah, the, that sounds voiced to me. Um, this you can feel it when you yeah. the sucks and then you have this um, f- um vibration here. It voiced. What about it's um good. if it ends like tooth? That seems like it's a different sound to me. It's voiced. Oof. Is it voiced? But um, in Elsa, you um, have um, the explain- place, um, explanation is you make just this sound and then you feel. So just S or R or something like that. And I think, I and like you said with uh, Elsa Speak, I think it's one of the hardest things to do is find someone to practice speaking with yeah. like I know Anya I mean your your English is great so you probably wouldn't have a hard time finding someone who's good you know because you could have a conversation back and forth pretty easily people if they if you started speaking with them they would probably say oh I want to speak with her again because she's just so good but I can imagine people who have just started learning English it's hard for them to find a speaking partner because if they're not good you don't want to waste your time 
Does that yeah, make sense? I, I yeah. think um, a lot change if you become um, confident. I know back then, one and a half year ago, I started the first time with a chat with you and the other. And I was lack of confident. Oh. I had so much problems and it was, oh God, I can watch myself. I won't listen myself. Self. And um, if you have nice people around you like on Discord or I have some on WhatsApp and um, you become more confident and then you can make more progress. Starts, uh, we might call it like snowballing. Like yeah. you just keep getting better and better more quickly like a snowball rolling down a hill yeah. just keeps gathering that snow. Like, so, um, Oh, that is voice. Cecilia. Cecilia tell the, and then she says the. tooth tooth is unvoiced. Okay. So. Nice. Thank you. Now I would say, now this is me as an English teacher and an Italian learner is that, and maybe you can tell me Anya, but I think if you think too much, about is the th voiced or unvoiced that might stop your progress i think if you do a lot of listening like anybody who is listening to this conversation i'm hoping it's really helping you and i hope it's more fun than studying grammar the th voiced unvoiced it might be nice to practice with that a little bit but get a lot of listening in yeah. And if you can start speaking, that would be great too. But listening, listening, listening. Okay. What about with that almost sounds unvoiced to me? So maybe. It's so hard this word. Each time it? on Elsa, I didn't make it. Really? Yeah. Um, but, especially if after with is a word with S. To switch be uh, between TH and S is so hard for me. So I, and I think with the way you speak, you know, any buddy listening, it, it might just take them a second, like, because we've, I know in English, we hear German English speakers all the time. So I think my voice, my ear is probably trained anyways, but I think the way you say with it's, it shouldn't be any trouble. It would be, it just would be, how would you say it? Like what uh, can you say with? With, no, that's that's fine. That sounds that <laughs> sounds perfect. You are, you are making that w that the the th sound, but I have heard um you know like German speakers or Swedish speakers you know the Germanic languages, the th is hard. The v yeah. also I think is hard, right? The yeah the v, but I think most people when they start will make a w sound instead of the v. It's okay, I think. I think most people will understand. Hey, Sita's here. Look at that. Hi, on, Sita. Sita. <laughs> oh, nice. That's right. I, I remember uh, Sita saying she was with her mom yesterday, I think it was, on Discord. Yeah. What are some other um, challenges that you, you have? You, I would think you have no challenges now. Right with English, um, I had always to fight with grammar. Um, oh. I think, um, right now it's more easy for me to write in English than in German. That's crazy. Really, I made yeah, I made uh, the whole Duolingo in three and a half months, mm -hmm. all level um of um English, and the most problems I had, <laughs> I had with German. Really. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes wow. a bit crazy. <laughs> That's my mother tongue, but it's so difficult sometimes. So how often do you, when you study English, or do you still study English? Yeah, okay. each day. Um, what does your studying look like? Is it mostly listening and speaking? Um, watching, watching shows and movies? That's that's free time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am not the big TV watcher, but if I watch, I just um, watch on Netflix or Amazon or something like that because I can switch to English. And I watch only English science more than one year, no German. Wow. That's awesome. And um, 
I am a big fan of audiobooks. So mm. I started to um, hear my first audiobook completely in English, I think, um, at the beginning of last year. And I was a bit nervous um, um, of it because I really like Terry Pratchett. I don't know if you know Terry Pratchett. I've heard of the And he is, uh, he is so eloquent and he has so nice uh, jokes and it's so hard to read sometimes. And I have the most of his books in German. And I start the first books in English. And I heard all of Harry Potter and I hear it right now the third time. Uh, and a lot of English historical books and something like that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea if anyone has books that they've read in their native language. So at least you understand what the story is about yeah. and then you can listen to them in English. That is amazing. Now, but I have also something like that. Um, is that more of a grammar crazy. book? Yeah, it's it's a, yeah, it's totally backwards. Oh, English idioms. Ah, I have one for I Italian have, idioms. Yeah, I have books yeah. here. I study with books and I study with um, dif um, different apps. Yeah. And um, I read books out loud. I read it for me loud, so um, I have to practice. That's amazing. So anyone who may be, uh, okay, here's the thing with audiobooks versus um, reading a book. So I think the best thing you can do is have the audio with the text in front of you. But that is so limiting, right? If you have the audio book, you can get more listening in by listening in the car listening on your way to work if you're on the metro listening while you do chores yeah so it's it's a that's a it's a great way to listen uh to learn when i was cleaning uh my little room down here i was listening to some italian teachers and it's just so easy if and don't feel badly i know i know anya knows this but don't feel badly if you miss something you know you can go back and re-listen or I mean, with an audio book, it might be different because you might miss some of the story, but you don't have to always be actively listening. You can do what we call passive listening. So I think that's I start, a really... I started two years ago with your podcast and it was the best for me because I became used to the American English and uh, it was so great to listen to you and to li listen to the live streams and the things you made and it helps me a lot uh, i heard it the whole time and i made my shorts and i was around and i think um two months after i started with your podcast i joined the first chat oh really <laughs> yeah oh that's awesome that's great yeah and the great thing about podcasts is if you get busy and you don't listen for five minutes, you know, you can just pick right back up. And with the live streams, it's like, you know, if you miss something, it's okay. Yeah. And you can slow down. If you hear it on Spotify or Apple or something, you can slow down. So it's more uh, better if you need time to um, progress or. Yeah, totally. Progress, you... um, yeah. Um... Digest, digest all. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's an advanced word. Yeah, we use digest with food, Yeah, but you can also use it with information. Digest. Yeah, nicely done. You can do it with YouTube videos too. So if um, there's like it's down on the bottom of the screen, but that's helpful. I do that sometimes with, with my Italian as well. Let's see, Brent. I've been binge watching a series about Bigfoot sightseeing who happened in different parts of the U S have you ever seen such a big foot in the main area? No, I have not come across any big foots or Sasquatches, but, um, I was listening, to, I was listening to a podcast in English. Have you ever heard of, uh, Joe Rogan, Anya? Yeah. Joe Rogan. And I, I don't want to stereotype, but the guys in my life, 
they tend to like Joe Rogan and the ladies in my life, the ones who identify as a lady, they like, ah, I don't like Joe Rogan, but I, I listen to Joe Rogan every so often. And he had a guest on named uh, Dan Aykroyd. Do you know that? Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. Uh, yeah. 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 Definitely. And he, he's a big UFO guy. So he thinks aliens have visited us. Okay. And there are a couple famous stories of aliens in Maine, but I don't think as many stories about big, big foots or yeah. big feet. Sasquatch. Big Sasquatches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What's the plural of Bigfoot? Is it big feet or big foots? <laughs> Could be interesting. Yeah, Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatches. Yeah, let's just go with that. Yeah, so I don't think there are any Sasquatch sightings in Maine. I could be wrong, but I think it was a more... nice movie. I think in in the middle of the eighties about Bigfoot, Bigfoot and the Hendersons. Yes, Henry. <laughs> yeah, in English it's called Henry and the Henry and the Hendersons. I think. Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Um, I was in cinema. Yeah, that was very popular when I think I was a teenager. So my I younger think brother. We, we was we are in the same age. Yes. I think twelve. Oh, it was, okay. It was end of eighties. Yeah, I think <laughs> my brother. My brother's five years younger than me. He was all about that movie. I think he liked that <laughs> movie a lot. Yeah. yeah. If um. Anybody watching it, if you really like something, you can say you're all about it. You're all about it. Oh, it looks like there's another question here too. Uh oh, I have one more. Yeah, keep the questions coming. Anya can probably answer some of these too. Um, I have one more question. What does it mean? Wait, oh, okay. What does well up mean? Is it the same as tear up? Yeah, you, you got to love English, right? Because when I first read that, I'm like, is that tear up? So you can tear up paper, but you can also tear up. So um, Anya, do you, do you have any idea? Have you ever heard that well up? No. Both oh, not. good. Oh, good. I, I can teach you something. Yeah. Okay. So um, if your, your eyes start to well up, uh, like, you know, a well where you can get water from mm -hmm. a, a well. Yeah. So it's like, it, you're not quite crying but it's just like there's a little bit of water at the bottom of your eye. You're starting to tear up. So it could be because you're sad. It could be because there are spicy foods around. So yeah. So tear up and well up, basically the same thing. That's a good question. Never thought of that one. Never thought of that one. What time is it? I got to make sure that my family doesn't need, oh, uh, my family doesn't need anything. My uh, wife is at the grocery store and there is a veteran. Wait, there's a veteran paying for everyone's groceries? Should be the other way around. So yeah, she said that yeah. she was in line and a veteran was paying for people's groceries. It's like, we should pay for the veteran's groceries, right? Yeah, I know. Um, I I thought it should be different. Yeah, yeah. I can. Uh, yeah, I'm in line to pay for groceries, and there's a veteran here paying for everyone's groceries. And I heard that many veterans have sometimes heavy problems afterwards, and of financial problems, and a lot of the homeless people are veterans. That's true, in our country for sure. Yeah. I can imagine, you know, being in war and, you know, in the U.S., we've Almost sized. been in war. Yeah, it's got to be hard coming back. So, yeah, it's too bad. All right, I think that's the last question there. Yeah, feel free to uh, – I might have to go pretty soon just because – ooh, and I got <laughs> to get ready for um, – I got to make some slides for the spring cleaning um, – I'm doing a uh, live stream tomorrow on the other channel about spring cleaning. Nice. Do you, do you spring clean at all, Anya? Um, I should, but I make my shorts each weekend and I try to um, make something like a cycle in my um, apartment and 
try it all the time a bit. <laughs> that's awesome. So you keep up with it throughout the yeah. <laughs> because otherwise, I think it would mess up and it become too much. Yeah, I had to. I don't clean this room too often, so I had to sweep and vacuum a little bit, and so just mm -hmm. tidy up a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, we'll talk about deep cleaning tomorrow. But <laughs> yeah, if you do, um, if you do, if you clean regularly every week, you probably don't have to deep clean. Like we I, do. I make it half and half with my daughter. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting because she's nineteen and. Uh, I think we have different ideas sometimes, so uh, it's hard to, um, yeah, to see how the kitchen look if she has the kitchen for one week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just like yeah. my, my, now, my kids will uh, chip in. That's a good. Mm -hmm. That's a good uh, phrasal verb there. You know, they'll help out, chip in. Um, but, you know, teenagers, they don't clean yeah. very well. I, I was surprised. I was um, at Wednesday. I was in the gym and yeah. had made two, two hours of exercising, was very tired afterwards, and came back. I think it was half past eight, and I was so tired and so hungry. And I came in, my, in our apartment, and I opened the door, and it smells so good. My daughter was cooking. She found a cookbook and made um, a chickpea curry. Really? It was so fresh. With yeah. fresh, fresh vegetables and she cooked so good. And the, the kitchen looks like a battlefield. Ooh. Um, she said, please don't look around. It's I mess so much here. And I was going out, get my food. And it tastes very good. And after a half hour, I came back in the kitchen and it was perfect. Wow. Yeah. I was surprised. So she cleaned. Did she give you some of the chickpea? Yeah. So she cooked for you and then yeah, she cleaned? For us, for us both. That's amazing. Yeah. It's great. That's a, that's a win-win. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the company, but um, Jamie, for the last two weeks, I think it's... $35 and they will deliver meals to you. Wait, they will deliver the ingredients to you. Yeah. It comes in a big box and it's like 10, $12 a meal. And all of the ingredients are like measured out for you. Yeah. And so she's been cooking some pretty amazing meals last night. I think it was um, empanadas. I don't think they were as good as Argentinian empanadas. I've had those before, but uh, they, they were very good. Very good. It had the salsa and everything. Guac I think the guacamole. They won't ship eggs. Sometimes you have to add certain things, but uh, it's and they'll ship um, sometimes the meat. I, we're not vegetarians. I think you're you're vegetarian, right? No, I don't eat much meal meat. Um, I eat prefer to eat vegetarian and vegan, but sometimes I eat meat. <laughs> okay. Okay. So our meals haven't really been vegetarian, but they do have a vegetarian option. Yeah. And they have a vegan option. And uh, I can't remember the company, but it's, it's pretty cool. You must have something like that in Germany. My, my middle, uh, my younger son used it with his um, girlfriend. Um, but I cook mostly fresh. And I do it with my clients each week. So um, um, I try to teach them to use just fresh ingredients. Wow. So I, I'm used to it. That's awesome. It's and, just so expensive, and, right? Hmm? How, are, the, are the prices going up? Yeah, it's Germany? so crazy. Yeah. I, I saw last week, I'd, I thought about um, to make chicken. Mm -hmm. And usually you have to pay here three or four euro, so it's might might a uh, uh, five five dollar for two chicken breast. But now I have to pay that more eight euro, no. around ten ten dollar for two chicken breasts, not more. And um, a bottle of oil, 
The girlfriend of my son told me that she um, paid for one bottle of sunflower oil, 10 euro. And six weeks ago, you paid one, and fi one euro 50 cent for one oh bottle. Gosh. And I, I had, um, I count yesterday um, about the gasoline. Mm. You have um, not liter, you have this. Um, right, we have gallons. We use gallons. gallons right, yeah. I, I, I count it. And you ha would have to pay around $11 for one gallon here. Are you right serious? Now. Yes. So that's like three or four times more than what we are paying. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. How much has it gone up for you? I know that Europe has always paid more yeah. for gasoline than we have in the United States. I know but Canada. it changed around um, a quarter more. Oh, really? Six, week, six weeks ago, I had to pay, to, uh, had to um, um, give seven euro, uh, $7.50 for one. So um, wow. it's a lot more. Yeah. It's like like the oil you have to need for the kitchen. Um, instead of one euro fifty, you have to pay um, to um, give ten dollar. <laughs> it's are so you? crazy. So oh my crazy. gosh! Yeah, yeah. Our prices are going up, but not that much. And our gas has come down a little bit. Has yours? Like it's our. Our gas um, two weeks ago was at the highest price. Mm. And since then, it has come down a little bit. Has yeah, a little. Yeah. Five cent. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> so ours came down like 25 cents. So it's like it, we were paying for our gas was so cheap before anyway. But and I, I think you uh, I think, you know, because I put it on discord, but my son yeah yeah we've talked i know we've talked about this mm -hmm. anya um but i drive like a, a week ago friday okay yeah. last friday i drove six hours for my son's hockey six hours three There's federal three. states right what how many what's that three federal states um we went through i went through um Three different states. So I mainly yeah, Massachusetts, yeah. Rhode Island, and I didn't have to go through Rhode Island. That's the okay. one next to it, though. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the one. So I had to go through Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut. Yeah. And I was like 40 minutes away from New York City. It was like the traffic was bumper to bumper. Yeah. It was awful. But it took a more than a full tank of gas for me to get down there. And you said you could get to to where? Hungary. Hungary. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And I'm still in New England where I live, you know. Yeah, the US is I think it would take me oh, 30 hours to drive to the bottom of Florida, like to the yeah. Key West Florida. Yeah, probably 30 hours. But. I think I have to drive to Prague and Four to five hours. I was oh. there um, several times. I love Prague, oh. and um, it's nice to be in the central. And Kassel is the central um, of Germany, so I have the same direction. Each uh, I have the same driving, um, the, the same distance in each direction. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I was I in Paris. Um, I think three years ago. And we, we was with our clients in Normandy, and we have to drive um, seven hours. Oh, how many? Seven, you said? Seven mm -hmm. hours? Seven hours seven. to the Normandy. Yeah. It's not too bad. With an old bus, with an old VW bus. Oh. 30 yeah. years old and full. With, um, so it's okay, I think, seven hours. <laughs> yeah, not too bad, but... Man, now now you can't afford to drive seven hours, right? Like the gas is too expensive. Yeah. There's a there's a joke in the United States, you know, for the last two years, we've had to stay home because of COVID. And now that we can go somewhere, we can't afford to because the gas is so expensive. It's like 
we're just going to stay home this summer, I guess. Uh-oh, what is this? Brent, you got to try Brazilian signatures made from a type of masa with chicken. Okay, I would definitely try that. Oh, I forgot. I don't know if Sita is still here, but I had a... Uh... Oh, you have too, Anya. The uh, That Brazilian soda that was so good. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember what that was, but that's... Uh... Um, I think I have still a bottle. Really? It was, yeah. I remember, it was a green can with little... Yeah. Maybe cherries on it or something. It was good though. I think it, tasted... it wasn't cherries, but it was so great. It yeah, it tasted like flowers. It was like a, a little floral. It was yeah. a little it was very good though. I should order some more of that. All right, Anya, I think I need to get going. Oh. Yeah, you you say something about twenty or thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I think my family <laughs> I wasn't going with them, but my family already left and the dog is upstairs in his crate. He's quiet. I haven't heard him bark, but I think I'll go hang out with him for a little bit and get my uh, lesson ready for tomorrow. You wouldn't be so calm if you are children um, in the other room and so so quiet. Yeah, they're <laughs> luckily they're so old now. They're just kind of they're chill. They don't they're not too bad. But the dog is crazy. Um, we we ran him today. Like my son took him on a walk. And then we played ball with him and he was running back and forth. He's tired out right now. So <laughs> so good. <laughs> he won't be too bad. But we do you know what a crate is? Do you know what a when we say in English a crate? No. It's like a little um it's like a little cage. I guess it's a little cage. Yeah. He's got his blanket in there, but okay. You know, he just lays down so he won't tear the house up. So this I think probably... you had a photo or something or a little movie. I'm not. I'm not sure on your Facebook or YouTube or something like that. You showed it. Oh, okay. I probably did. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Anya, thanks so much for joining. Yeah. And it was nice. Nice time. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And your English is great. So hopefully, people listening to us speak can you know get some. English help out of this. I think they can. And this yeah. will be on the podcast too. So I'll put you as a as a special guest. <laughs> Anya thank from you. Germany. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone. And uh I'll see it see you tomorrow if you're gonna be uh, around for the live chat.